Hey, what's up Streamkeepers and welcome back to my channel. And in today's topic, I want to share with you guys about a question that I always get is can I actually purchase uh, cow streams to actually make them and create and keep breeding them and make them beautiful. And apart from that topic, actually I want to merge two of these topics together and the other topic is actually having one more, more than one tank of what you actually like uh, and why is it important. Right, so so kind of like I I'm, I'm gonna merge these two topics together because they are, they are kind of interrelated. Uh, you know, just before we dive right into the, the details, I just wanted to give you guys some some updates. You know, I've been uh, this week has been really really rough in terms of uh, there's a lot of things to do. I mean, good good things. Uh, in terms of uh, there's there's new imports, there's new streams. Uh, a lot of happy 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 breeders out there uh, who have received their their streams. Uh, certainly one of those times where you know you have to uh, really push through and uh, certainly you know this this time round I think it, it the the streams is really you know uh I would say amazing really amazing the quality of it is really amazing and uh, certain, certainly uh wish those guys who have purchased the streams you know uh, all the best to you so to this topic I just want to dive straight right into it now is to discuss about you know the can I actually get cow uh beautiful streams you know great graded streams if i purchase cow streams so the the long and short of it I, i'm just going to be very direct is that the long and short of it is no you will not uh, you will not be able to um actually get very good streams from the cow streams and and if people you know a lot of uh, breeders actually say you know why don't you just uh, try the cow streams and then uh, and then see whether do they actually breed out good streams you know uh, i i think there has been a lot of uh, background information about why cow streams will not be able to will, will not be the best way actually to uh, move forward and one of the reasons is because you are not sure how the cow streams are being handled like for example if the cow streams are being mixed into like for example if let's say i have a main you know a main breeding tank and those lines are, are very pure and the, and the streamlets that cow streamlets that comes out and I mix those cow streamlets into other streamlets or other, you know, other types of cows together, and then uh, they breed and then they come out. So there's no traceability in that sense that the cow, where does the cow stream come from? You know, it can be a direct mainline one, but in order to get from cow to graded, is very very, it's gonna be very difficult. In, in it's not worth the time, I would say. Uh, and one of the reasons is because. When you do cow and cow, you get more cows. So that is selective breeding for cows. I mean, that is not something that unless th that is a direction you want to go, then then yes, you can uh, look at doing it. However, if you want to progress on in terms of um, making more beautiful streams, uh, making like for example um, more beautiful spots on the stardust, uh, red stardust, black stardust, more bigger patches on the boards and things like that, you have to select the good ones out to actually breed them, and those that you don't want. You remove them and that's the reason why i want to interlink these two topics about having one more tank or even more than one tank that what you want to breed instead of just having okay i i have you know uh the the, the concept of okay i have one breeding tank okay one main breeding tank and then one grow up tank so that's that's the whole idea however you can also go one or two or even three steps further like for example you can have one uh, one line that is the main line where you have the main breeding tank and a grow up tank and then you have the same one the main breeding tank and the grow up tank so that you actually have the two of the same line that breeds down like that so when these two up grow up tanks you know they are actually uh, distance relative they are considered close cousins so in that sense you know you actually help to maintain the, the genetic bloodline of them separated and in, in any case you know one of these uh, system or one of this uh, process of uh, breeding process actually crash you actually have a backup so that you know you don't you don't lose everything all at once so i think that's that's also one of the reasons why you know uh when you start to have more and more tanks it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that if i have one boar tank main breeding tank you no know, i'm set i'm set you know i'm, I'm set i'm good i'm gonna take a take a take a take a break i'm gonna let them breed I'm gonna start calling my calling my streams and then you know uh get better streams from there on, right? Yes, it I think ideally I 
ideally it is like that you know you have that you have breathe you keep breathing and things like that but what happens if let's say you keep breathing them and you know out of so many uh, pieces you can only select a few a few a few and in, in order to improve the chances the opportunity or the potential of getting better better and better streams you know you can actually mimic you know or duplicate this uh, entire uh, process into more more things uh, in that sense uh, because when I have the discussion with a few of the breeders uh, one of the things is that normally uh, Normally, people stop at one. Like for example, if you have a deep blue boat tank, uh, you you probably will stop there and say, okay, I, I have a very nice deep blue boat tank, and that's it, you know, and that's it. But then the question is, what happens if it crash? Right? What happens if it crash? Are you gonna restart the whole thing again, or what are you gonna do with it? Because at the end of the day, there's always a chance that something might happen to the tank, and when it happens. What are you gonna do about it? So I think so. That's that's the reason why, especially when you start to progress onto the hobby, uh, much much deeper into the hobby, uh, and you have that 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 direction, that direction. Like for example, if you want to keep bois, and then you have one main breeding tank, you generally will start to have more and more bois tanks, uh, of the, even the same same line, same parentage. Uh, and one of the things is because you you really want to maintain that that high quality, the high great streams uh, genetics and and then you start to spread your reese into more and more tanks so that at the end of the day if something really happens that you you know uh, at least you have some backup right and and then for all those cow streams uh, you can keep them all together because anyway you're gonna cow them all together uh, so so just just leave them as a cow cow tank I think that's that's fine uh, so when we talk about you know that that cow getting better and better that's you know to get from a cow grade you know a cow upwards to a grade uh, the minimum grade tree it's it's gonna be very very difficult and one of the reasons is because uh, genetically we do not want the cow patterns and that's the reason we cow it right uh, However, it's also not 100% true that nice streams will breed up nice streams. So, if, for example, if you get two very nice streams of unknown origins, of unknown lineage, you may not even know where they come from. You may not even know what's the outcome of it. So, the only time you will know is actually when you start to see the streamlets and when the streamlets start to grow big. Uh, for grading of streams like Red Stardust, Boas, Black Fancy, and, and, and things like that where the patterns actually changes uh, along with age and that is when you have to take about maybe four or five months to actually see them watch watch them grow into adulthood before you can actually even uh, when you, before you can if actually even grade them so that's the reason why you know having multiple uh, mainline system tank like for example if you like boa tank one boa tank two boa tank three you probably your, your probability of getting a good boas uh, will be higher because this is a number game but however you also have to be very sure that the cowling uh, injecting of new blood all these things are kept in place uh, through the process I think that that will actually help in the, in the long run because if you do not start to inject blood uh, new blood in, in in a few generations actually the streams start to degrade in a sense that you may not actually see them degrade immediately but you can actually see them see from the the streamless itself some of the signs of uh, degradation or you know uh, too much inbreeding is when the start when the stream start to get smaller and smaller <coughs> the stream start to get smaller and smaller and you know some of them don't breed some of them do not reach their full potential some of them you know uh, kick their eggs away so things are these are some of the signs that you know uh, the difficulty of, of, of breeding when, when the genetics get too narrow and that's where you start to inject new blood into it uh, I think one of the, the easiest sign to see whether the the streams are inbred too much is that when the first the first sign is that they will, they will get smaller the streamlets will always be very small and they don't have the opportunity to grow large uh, because they are being selected they are not being selected they are not being selected for their size 
So they are just breeding and breeding. They, they just look at the patterns. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. And then they just mix it together. Uh, they do not care about the, uh, the overall uh, grading of the streams because size is one of the grids as well. So without the size, you know, the streams get smaller and smaller and smaller. And I get a lot of comments uh, when people come in and see my streams. They actually see that, hey, Ben, your streams are big, you're huge. Actually, they are normal size streams. It's just that uh, a lot of the the breeders have been breeding too much, uh, inbreeding too much, and that's the reason it causes them to become smaller and smaller and smaller. So, uh, you know, it, it is fine. I mean, if let's say, for example, if you have a cow PRL tank, and you want to keep breeding them just to, to, to for, you know, for the sake of beauty, for the sake of putting them in the planter tank, I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, there's no need to, to, to do any, you know, selective breeding and things like that. However, if you are very serious into into selective breeding and you want to have a lot of boar tanks uh, you probably want to have that uh, new blood injected and of course you know the, the new blood being injected is always best from source or at least second source where you actually get the, the strong genetics out of it so that's I think the long and short of it I think I just want to summarize in, in this video is that you know to get a cow to be a graded stream in the next generation is going to be very tough <clears throat> because there are ways that the breeders can actually wash that <clears throat> the genes out like for example if the, the breeder do not want to have uh, uh, the, 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 the person who purchased the stream to have uh, like for example the genetics the good genetics of it all he has to do is that he will throw that uh, into a, you know, a mixed blood pool of other streams and then you know you, your your entire uh, genetics will never ever get to the mainline kind of uh, genetic structure uh, and that is that is the that is the truth behind it and and it's and that's the reason why when 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 people ask uh, whether can can we actually purchase cows to 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 breed them and go into graded ones it, it's going to be tough it's not 100% impossible I would think that it will take like a few years just to, to to breed them because if they are worth the effort they are worth breeding then of course the breeders will not even sell them because if you try to purchase stock streams from, from a breeder they will be very afraid because stock streams are the ones that produces the babies and then they start breeding usually the stock streams are the ones that go for competition the ones that are really good uh, that are often not seen uh, uh, you know openly and, and things like that so so in that sense you know having good quality streams I think it, it, it still comes from a, a good source like one some of my videos I have mentioned if you want to get good streams you have to be very mindful of uh, the, the source of the stream if you have a good source you can uh, you can really rely rely on having good genetics your streams will definitely at the end of the day in the long run you will actually benefit more than to have them sourced from uh, various places and that has been uh, proven I have very actually seen that through the many years uh, of the stream breeding hobby uh, so so I would like to share this with you guys so that you know if you guys are you know in a dilemma thinking whether what should I do with my streams where should I purchase my stream who should I purchase it from can I mix them together and things like that my recommendation is that you stick to a source stick to somebody who, who you can trust with and and get the source because all the source has to be traced to where it came from originally and who breeds the streams ultimately at the end of the day so that actually is very important because once you have the background uh, information of where the, the streams come from who bred it and how it's being bred I think uh, you know you, you wouldn't have any surprises in terms of the, the streamlets uh, in terms of bad surprises right so yeah so thanks thanks thank you guys for watching this video I hope I have shared some uh, inf good information with you guys um, not not too much com confusion there uh, and uh, please give a thumbs up if, if you like this video and please remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and continue to stream on. And till next time, peace out.